Hello and welcome to NASCAR People's Choice Award 2015. I'm here with the wonderful Alex Glynn. I'm Alistair Heath and you're, uh, we're coming to you live from XTV down in Exeter. We've got a great show coming up for you tonight. We've uh, obviously got all of the People's Choice Awards voted for by yourselves coming up. But we've also got a few added surprises. It's going to start off the night with a, a lovely chat with Mia Robertelli, the NASTA chair. The NASTA chair, which is really exciting. Uh, you can also tweet us, use uh, hashtag NASTA people. Cheesy but brilliant, um, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, we've also got a number of other surprises, as well as the quizzes which are coming up. Uh, we've also got... Um, an event that we don't know what it is, and that's We've quite We've got exciting. no idea. We're, we are in the blind. It's going to take us by more surprise um, than it will take you. But we, all we know is that it, w the surprise will happen when we hear the Jurassic Park theme tune. I guess Jurassic Park because Jurassic World is out today. But So when you hear these ominous trumpets creeping in, we have to stop ad living, stop presenting, and, you know, step bravely into the unknown. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Those tones of realisation. It's, it's a surprise that's been 65 million years in the making. I'm excited for this surprise. Yeah, Mia, Mia's, Mia's up for this. Alex is up for it. He's even doing the little raptor claws. I think he's going to lash out in a minute. Or oh, look, just really spaced. Um, but before we get to all those surprises and all that great content, um, we have uh, two great awards uh, coming up for you first, don't we? Yeah, uh, but before that, let's have a chat with Mia. Hey. Hi Mia, you're Hello. a NASTA chair, sitting on a NASTA chair, so tell I us am. about yourself. It is tell a NASTA us about chair NASTA. Um, I am this year's NASTA chair. Yep. Which we is know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. you know, about <coughs> me. Um, and I um, act in my role as sort of the general spokesperson to external organisations of NASTA, um, overseeing the direction of the association throughout the year and sort of supporting the rest of the exec and do you do sit on a chair? Do you have a specific chair? Does I the do, chair yeah. have their own chair up at NASTA Towers? Up at NASTA Towers, I do have a very special chair and it gives me all my chair powers, so when I leave it, then um, so that, yeah. it'll be gone. So beyond sitting so on a chair, what else does your role entail? That's it, really. It's just sitting on a just chair. Yeah. Sitting on a chair, speaking to people. Yeah. yeah. Speaking to people, day to day running of stuff, which includes a lot of things. Budgets. Woo, everyone loves a budget. Woo, budget. Things like that. Risk assessments. Risk assessments. <laughs> nearly, no, nearly as joyous. Happily not. Um, no. I'm, not, I'm not a fan of risk assessments. So Very important. I'm a, I'm a fan of risk, asse uh, risk assessments. Health and safety. The health and safety of NASTA I members is my utmost priority. I do yeah. enjoy Obviously. shouting health and safety at people when they're doing silly things and then telling them to stop it. How, Fantastic. How long That's have you got left in the position? Question. And who's taking over? And what's your favourite colour? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I've got the rest of this month left and then I'm done. That's it. Um, I'm being succeeded. Is that the correct? Yeah. yeah, succeeded by um, Rob Blowers from Guild TV, who is elected as chair. And my favourite colour is orange. Yeah. So you're saying that, you know, your career pathway is now open. You're leaving NASTA, but you've got a whole load of options opening up to you. So I think it's f time for the first award, isn't it? Which is well best open. Quickly but followed but by... But after, after Mia's open choices, she's going to have to get on with the rest of her life. You're just making the same link that I just made. So let's get, let's, let's ride into best open and then best live. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hello, and we are here in the awards ceremony to present to you the People's Choice Awards Awards, awards for this year from XTV. I'm James. And I'm Amy. And we're going to get right down to it with the open awards. So the nominees are... ICTV. Stack TV Warwick TV X TV YS TV And some excellent nominees there, James. Yes, having looked at all these myself, they were all excellent contenders, who most of whom deserve to win. Uh, it was great content. Yes, it really is. But unfortunately, we only have uh, one for a highly commended and winner. So, if we mm -hmm. would so you I'll keep things off with yes. highly commended. And um, this was XTV. Oh, well done to XTV. And now the winner for Open for NASA's People Choice Award is. Oh, well, I was wrong. It's a draw. So the two winners are YSTV and ICTV. Two winners here Both this evening. Great contenders. ICTV with Breaking into the Brits, which 
takes a lot of gumption. I don't think we could afford that kind of content. And YS TV, for their filming, whilst doing the Three Peaks Challenge, which must have required incre incredible amounts of effort and intensely good camera work. Yeah. So, But now, we're going to launch straight into our award for live. Mm. And the entries this year are much anticipated, and here are the nominees. CU TV Trent TV Scratch TV Uni TV Susu TV And we're back! <laughs> right, lives. All great entries. Yes, indeed. So I better get started with the highly commended winner this evening. So that is for the People's Choice Award for Live is Uni TV. Mm. And our winner, after all this time, hopefully our live today will be able to compete with these lofty heights, <laughs> achieved by Susu TV. Congratulations to both of you and back to the studio. Just joining us. Welcome, welcome to the NASTA People's Choice Awards. We have uh, we've just enjoyed a couple of uh, a couple of lovely awards, and we've had a little chat with uh, the NASTA chair, Mira Robertelli. Uh, so that was the uh, best live award. Alistair, have you ever produced anything live? We did we did the election coverage for um, the, when when the SABs were elected down here, um, and we have a really interesting SAB related surprise uh, coming up in a bit. Let's not spoil um, that though. Let's not spoil that too surprise. much because yeah. it's a surprise. Well, you, you say too much. Know, we've already said a SAB little, related. I've teased so. a little, man. Okay. I'm teasing a little bit here and there, but you know, I, I bro broadcasted that, and of course we did um, rugby varsity as well. That was fun, wasn't it? How rugby varsity that? was amazing, uh, but then obviously we're using seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds worth of equipment, so it's going to be pretty good. And you've got that. We had that terrifying moment where a member may have may have not broken a camera worth one hundred and eighty. What was it? One hundred and eighty thousand pounds. It was. It, it wasn't it, their fault. Someone it, didn't. Yeah, it put wasn't the their leg fault. on the tripod. But it was scary. It was very scary. It was very scary. But we can introduce Cara now because we have something quite interesting uh, for our uh, NAS for NASA members who aren't based in England but are based in Wales. We do care about Wales. We do care about Wales. In XTV, I feel like I feel like we only care about Wales because they're like a country that isn't threatening to go independent. Okay. Well, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> yeah. Like XTV has a long-standing relationship with Wales. We have a we have a show where one of our members, me, is taught Welsh by somebody else who is Welsh but can't speak Welsh but has a good Welsh accent. Now yeah, we're Welsh flipping accent. that paradigm on its head. We've got someone who is Welsh but doesn't have the accent. So why don't we uh, take a look at Welsh with Richard, starring Richard Griffith? Hello. Hello. A <coughs> Christ. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello. A Christ we have come right, get a Richard, a Alex. Hello. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Welsh with Richard and Alex. Hello, a Christ we have come right, get a Richard, a Alex. Now, if you're looking for more of an informal phrase to discuss with a friend, a lover, perhaps, or a, a classmate, um, we look at something more like, you're right. You're right is what you tend to use in England, as what I've discovered since I've moved here. Here we go. A duck, he yawn. No, 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 no. He duck he yawn. He duck he yawn. There's no mention of ducks. <laughs> no, 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 duck is the only one that I'm sure you're saying. He duck he yawn. Yes, it's literally he duck he yawn. It's like you're putting. The, the duck is not yawning um, at any point in this sentence. He duck he yawn. That we're going to just quickly read you the whole conversation in English and then we'll just have it in Welsh so you can see just how easy learning Welsh is. Hello, how are you? Oh no, that you should stop. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. What about this? <laughs> <laughs> again, again. Yeah, yeah, it's my life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. What about yourself? Do you have any lectures today? No, I hate lectures. That's it. I mean, that, what more do you want from a conversation? Well, let's go at it in Welsh now, just see how much more simple it is to discuss this. Okay, same conversation in Welsh. Hello, situati. Diolch i mi'n dda iawn i chi. Beth am I chi? A oes, Gino. Diolch i mi'n dda iawn i chi. 
I always get it ocean rock, dog and dog do. What are you trying to say there with be have a lecture today? I always get it and rue that y'all I head I always get it and rue that y'all do head through. Them, be catty bit that it. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Thank you very much for watching Welsh with Richard and Alex. Holbar! Holbar! Okay, so Alex, I know you might have a bit of problem understanding English, um, but can you describe to me XTV? What is XTV? Uh, Alex, um, it's in Gasly Descrivio, XTV. Ah! Yes, yes. Yeah, basically, XTV is a student television station based in the south of England, Exeter, um, hence the X for XTV. And uh, we make short films televised content which doesn't go on TV but goes on YouTube and uh, other delights like that. Uh, uh, well, do you think I'm going to talk to you about the TV and TV and the TV and the TV and the TV? Ah, so you make, you make student TV shows of all different kinds, uh, you know, a bit, bit sport, a bit factual, a bit creative here and there. Um, what, what's your favourite kind of project to work on? Thank you. This is this is painful. Uh, my favorite favorite thing to work on. It's got to be lives. I mean, not not this sort of live because obviously this is presenting. Um, but but being being upstairs, being up in the gallery, doing doing some fun. That's got to be my favorite thing. The rush is unreal. Don't you think, Alistair? Maven hoffi cael hoilan in the gallery. So, so uh, Alex, uh, you like lives then? Lives? But w why lives? But why lives? Like, like, uh, like pre creative content is f far more interesting, surely. Tin gallu am dweud wrth Alice a um, pam tin hoffi neud lives. Beth, be, pam tin hoffi neud lo. Okay, okay. Mm. Lives, li yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that goes into a live that just doesn't go into a creative show. I mean, you don't have cameras, you don't have actors, you don't have any of that. And creative, it's just paper and pens, and you obviously you draw it and you form a flip book and yeah. What's he saying? I've no idea. Uh, paper, a pen. Ah. Mm. So, Alex, what is uh, wh what are you most excited for about tonight? You know, we've had two awards already. What are you excited for? Water. Presumably. Teenager Hamani and Drubethino. Ah. A Dichinedra Hamani of Dur. Ah. Well, water probably is. Yes, water, yeah. Mm. That's what I'm most excited about. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I'm also, yeah, water's good, but the mystery noise is what I'm super excited about. Because mm. obviously, I mean, we know what the mystery noise is. It's that music that we heard earlier, uh, but I don't know what it means. It could mean anything, literally anything. It could literally be an air raid siren. Mm. So, like, what's been your favourite NASTA thing all this year, then? Well, it's you. Without you, I wouldn't have understood anything that anyone said. Alistair. It's you. Oh, that's, that's cute. That's nice. I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's really cool. Like, what? Um, so, so why Kara? Why is Kara your favourite thing about Nasta? I think the Mangali um Diash in Rubé Pebs of in the West, Beth is half Beth the Pam the. As well as the fact that it's allowed me to, allow me to understand sort of everything, everything that anyone's ever said to me. It's that delightful lisp that you get in Welsh. Uh, the fact that every single word is not like, s it's <laughs> and that, that really, that, that's what I like about Cara. If it wasn't for her, I'd never have learnt that. Um, so yeah, it's got to be that. See, I quite like those noises. I quite like those noises. Quickly, um, what are your favourite noises to make when you're making uh, Welsh with Richard? Beth, my um, soon go ready. Please, I can need Welsh get a Richard. And does he miss Richard? 
Tiersha uh, Richard aboard my Herod. Didn't think we were going to talk about that. Other than the cred, you only mean be me be sad as in bitchy, don't mind. It's that Alan Aussie's other. You mean you you miss Richard? You you want Richard back? Live. Uh, uh, my God, when you see us, us Richard Noel. <laughs> yes, a Noel. It was a grassy knoll. No one expected he would fall into a sinkhole. It just appeared from nowhere. Um, I miss him. God. Yeah, my vin, my vin, my vin. If that Arnold, if even go bad, um. I can't believe he's gone. Pourquoi? That isn't Welsh. That's fr French. You know that. You know that's French, right? That seems like the sort of Qu thing I should have really? known. And obviously, I would have known that if I was any good at quizzes. Yeah, you like it, it's all about knowing things, and you clearly don't know Welsh. We don't know Welsh, but Cara definitely knows Welsh. Yes, and Cara and I have been in cahoots all night, and it, it's those cahoots that have allowed me to understand what everyone else has been saying. And if you want to be on Kahoot. In Kahoots. You could take a look us. at our quiz on Kahoot. Uh, so it's, we've got a quiz on NASA history on this website called Kahoot, is, is what Alex is, is loosely hinting at. Um, and anyone can access that. So we're going to do this quiz, aren't we? Um, yeah, so we're, we're going to do this quiz. Yeah. We've made that clear already, yeah. But. So we've got an award, we've and then we've got, we've got, an got award a quiz. And then the quiz, which is brilliant, because that gives everyone at home... How are the audience even going to access the quiz? What number do they need to I know? No, there was a number that was told to us, and it was, it was 163388. So if you type that in, in the, the Kahoot website, um, which, uh, you can What's the URL for that? I have no idea what the URL is for that. I presume it's going to come up on our screen. Let me um, Google that so for if you. you go if you go on the at XTV online Twitter, we'll have our Twitter people uh, put the link up for the Kahoot quiz, um, so you can get up there. Um, it's Kahoot.it. I'm being told it's Kahoot.it, and you can put in the number in there, and that will get you access to the quiz. But first, we're going to our new award, uh, which is content innovation. And so, what, how would someone win that? What, what is content innovation? What's Presumably content? Presumably, it's inno innovative content. So it's making making good good shows. So would that XTV on thing that you designed be content well, innovation? No, because that would be technical innovation. So the idea with uh, content innovation is that it's a new format of a show or something interesting. So uh, you're seriously suggesting that there's a chance that someone from a student station has created some clever idea that no one has ever thought of before? Well, no, new is in new in the student TV world. Ah, uh, yes. So you know something really interesting. Uh, so here uh, is the uh, content innovation award. And welcome back to the award ceremony. We hope you're all having fun. We're going to move on to content innovation now. So the XTV Open Award for content innovation. Was that the nominees are... CU TV. Guild TV. Sisu TV. Trend TV. X TV. Some excellent stations there, James. Agreed. As ever. They're all really good this they year. They are, definitely. Um, so, shall I start off with High Command? Yes, go right. Ahead. So, we're finally unveiling it, and mm -hmm. I haven't seen this one yet, <laughs> amazingly enough. It is the Content Innovation Award, highly commended, is Trent TV. Congratulations. And the winner for Content Innovation oh. for the People's Choice Award is, if I can get it out of the envelope. I actually can't get it out of the envelope. Don't lift that up. Oh. I'm sorry I had to, it was necessary. And the winner is XTV. Okay, I think we're going to head off back to the studio now. <laughs> See you soon, Alistair and Alex. That's great. Um, so we're very soon going to be rejoined by, uh, by Mia, Mia, who is obviously going to be very happy Hooray. about the fact that Trent, Tr Trent, uh, Trent TV have won. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Obviously, we'll then give ourselves a round of applause. We'll congratulate ourselves. Generally, self-aggrandise, go on about how we've actually won something. So, so Trent. Yeah, what do you make of the tre Trent entries and, and what's going on there? 
yeah, it was very impressive. So was, what, was the Trent entry, was that the music festival? I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got someone in my ear and they'll, they'll, they'll verify that. Um, we can see the VCs in here. Um, but we did also have the, the XTV entry uh, was anthology, wasn't it? How did that go? You, enjoy, you, you, you worked on that? Yeah, uh, that was cool. Uh, basically, it was, because uh, I imagine you probably haven't seen it, and it w we did sort of a series of short films that are all set in the same place, so an anthology series, which then was released individually as short films, which all had the same two principal cast and the same first line and the same setting, and then we released them all as individual short films. And so that was quite cool. And that was well eventually done. released as The Quality Cafe. Well done, guys. So Yay. It was good fun. You can tell that everyone's had um, a really good year innovating new forms of content, which is really interesting. And you do get some uh, uh, really sort of uh, innovative ideas going on, including this quiz, which in itself <laughs> is quite an innovative <laughs> idea. Um, so you can see here, if you go to kahoot.it um, and then enter the code 163388, you can see uh, that we have uh, this quiz here. So we've got um, XTV are online, YSTV, at, who's at C Tripod? NASA Marketing, Guild TV, LA1. We have Trent TV are on, so, um, oh yeah, Tripod and Guild TV must be different. Yeah. So we have eight players, so we have eight people around the country eight teams around the country ready to join us on this NASTA quiz. How long do people have to answer the questions? I think it's about, t is it two minutes, I believe? Yeah, it's they've two got eight minutes. Two so minutes. we've got quite a while. Um, so I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite upset, actually, because I, I, I was hoping that like a normal broadcast, we wouldn't have any viewers, but it turns out we've got loads. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey. Um, we love you. Um, Should we launch into the quiz, then? Just do the quiz. Okay, everyone, the everyone at home, get here. your uh, digital pens it's and your uh, brain yeah. nuclei out and ready to answer. Our complicated questions. It's on NASA history, so hopefully you'll, you'll be able to help us with this. Are you ready? Are we ready, people? Shall we do the quiz? This let's is load up be the first question. Quiz. Yeah, let's quiz. do it. Let's do the first question. What does the flashing mean? Ooh, first question. Oh, it just says, are you ready? Oh, are at the we moment. ready? Here we go. There's it's a nice little cursor the there as well. Okay, so the question is which station won best cinematography in 2015? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um, Ooh, okay, so here's an entry. Here's can here someone move the mouse over that entry? Because then the title will pop up and we can see. Um, no, 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 no don't play. actually do that. It doesn't um, work. Okay, uh, so. Okay. Are we playing this? Yeah, as we're well? playing this. We're playing. Oh, do you we, have any ideas? Our time is running yes. out as well. We, we, our time's Who running won out. It? Where are we? I mean, I, was I it don't CUTV? Oh, we've, got se we've got 76 I, seconds. Um, KTV. So KTV. I think it was KTV. I think it's KTV. Although they are set on a beach. Is Kent near a beach? Can we verify if Kent is near a beach? Broadstairs? Is that yeah. in Kent? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah, so sure. It is near a beach. It is near a beach then. But you and know what else is like what? directly above the sea? What? Air? So it might so have been <laughs> air TV. <laughs> it might have been air TV. It was KTV. Oh, it was KTV. KTV. We clicked it. We'd, oh, someone put, what was the blue one? Campus TV. So someone put in Campus TV, but other than that, we're all So your, 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 time, your, your time limit like, didn't count there, so something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's good. Right, our next one. Oh, Campus TV are winning. They were the quickest. So you get points That's for being a lot quick of points. as well. That's they they did get a lot of points, but obviously <laughs> you would have like expected <laughs> that, like, yeah. Okay. So, <gasps> at last the 40, who made this the best so telly? Oh. <laughs> right. Okay, so was it Lawrence, as in Lawrence Bolton? He did make some quite Sucks. good TV. Do you know any, uh, what, what sort of things, what, what was the best thing that he was in? Because it could have been Lawrence. Um, oh, he made a lot of good TV. Um, the Edge. Pretty teen drama, The Edge. Okay, what about pretty. what about unis? <laughs> unis, <laughs> they make the best telly. Yeah. That fits. It sounds, it sounds kind it, of familiar, oh, but oh, oh, oh time's up. Right. We, we, someone's been clicking for Somebody us. did say Lawrence. Students. students, they make the someone best vodka Someone did say Lawrence, jellies. and someone else said NASCAR. Students, so it was they students. make the best. I can't sing. So Fuck Team off. Tripod are now in the lead with 1,933 points. Tripod. Yeah. Uh, they make the best Just so that everyone tripod, knows. They make the best quizzes. What? So everyone knows the way that the way that this is working is um, it's automatically going past. We, we're sort of pushed push for time to make our decisions because as soon as everyone else has answered, it automatically mm. tells us what the correct yeah. answer is and moves on. So that's why we've uh, been sort of been outwitted slow. by the rest of you guys because obviously we're incompetent. Living. So let's let's move on. Let's go. Ooh, what year was NASA created? If you don't know this, I'll be quite disappointed. <coughs> Uh, wait, I need to do maths in my head. I bet everyone's enjoying watching that. No, it's really embarrassing. 
if anyone is on Google right now, I will personally come over to your station and rip out your hair follicle by follicle. Sure. Mm. <laughs> oh, Obviously, no one else at well, home knows. Guys, think, think about well, it. Well, look, Nuts look, to 40, Nuts to 40 was an exeter in, in 2013. 2013. So it, what? It was 1970. <laughs> it was 1970, so the maths was even throwing us off. The maths was... It, but that's... It's because the first... It yeah, no, that's because the first conference wasn't for uh, 13 years. Because <coughs> Gus, yeah, Gus, Gus was the first. Okay, oh, so, so LA1, LA1 one, they've used LA their one technical knowledge well. to jump yeah. ahead in that. Nice. So who <laughs> hosted NASTA in 1994? XTV won three NASTAs in it 1994. It was, was also it? the year that my sister was born. Yeah, so it was both the first Happy year birthday. that XTV won NASTA and the year that my sister was born. Good year. Would which is be? mental. What would it be? Is it YSTV or Gus would be... i put my money on either of them. It can't be Guild TV. Why uh, not? They're, are they not a newer one? Oh, I, I thought Birmingham They've didn't They've been around a long time. Have they been around they a long time? Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry if anyone from Birmingham is watching. 94. Who would you go for? I'm going to go for YSTV. I reckon it's I, YSTV. I'm yeah, YSTV. Should we put Emily on YSTV? Let's do go that. Go for it. Oh, no, apparently what we're hearing that no one's answered. Oh, what, guys? It was Gil. Oh, what? Ah! <laughs> so, <laughs> very <laughs> sorry. Very, very we sorry about that. You were just wow. uh, But thank you, Birmingham, for giving us so many... Uh, <laughs> they're also called, they're also called Guild TV, and we have a guild instead of a union. That's an awful fact, Alison. Well, th th we're the only we're the only student union apart from Bir Birmingham that is called a guild. Are you sure about that? I don't actually think that's true. I think it must be true. <laughs> have you just made that fact no, up? No, that's not. That's okay. No. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, well <laughs> done, LA One TV. Yes, so Congratulations. LA1 Stanley's is me. Leaving. Who's the NASTA host coordinator Ooh. in 2010? Who was the NASTA host coordinator in 2010? Natalie, Natalie Bennett. Bennett. Natalie Bennett. <laughs> was she? She was in that. That's incredible. So many I can't ladies. She's in the Green Party. <laughs> you can't <laughs> believe she's in. The no, sorry. She was in, I can't believe she was in Student TV, not the Green Party. <laughs> she wasn't, wasn't in Student Jenny TV, Alistair. It wasn't, it wasn't I think in 2010 she was still in Australia. Was she? Oh, it's Carol Finch. Carol Finch. Someone's having me on. We didn't it. even try that Someone's one. Someone's having me on. It. Carol Finch. I don't know who Carol Finch is. <laughs> She, she was the host coordinator she's, in 2010. She's, she's probably, she's probably going to be my next boss. So yeah. so, sorry, Carol, if she's you're watching. probably watching it right now. Oh, well. Just some guy today. called Stanley is winning. Stanley, Stanley Yelmer. This year? Holes. Thank you. I was talking about that the other day. 900. Yeah, you're not allowed to answer this question. Okay. On a cat, I know the answer chair. to this, I think. I hope so. I think I know. Okay, regional south officer, as of... Well, there's nine in the south. Soon. As of the first of July. I, I don't. No, no, shh. That's a secret. I believe oh. it's 44. We'll see, we'll, you'll see. You'll see. I believe it's 44. You reckon 44. it's 44? Because it's over 40. It's not gone down. Are you sure it's yeah, not. It's not 53. It's are you not sure 53. it's not 32? It's, it's either 44 or 46. Are you sure that a large number of stations didn't just Lee. clean Asta with the moment they heard that Mia was going to be the new chair? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with 44. I'm, Everything's yeah. been a lie, no station's affiliated. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, Mia, Cause, no. Cause I always remember the soothing tones of Ollie Whittle saying 40 stations affiliated. Yeah, it was 44, 44. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Done, you got that right. That's oh, only two people, got that, two people yeah. got that right. Two people got that right. That is a and shame a long on you, those it, who so. said 36 or something. LA1, I seriously hope you got that right, <laughs> as you're one of the host stations this year. <laughs> Stanley is Thank on you, form. Stanley is on form. Thanks, Polly. Apparently, you just said my hair's amazing. <laughs> cool. I can't talk now. Oh, I know this. I know this. Oh. I don't want to know this what one. What was the fish called? It, so it was Gus, wasn't it? Sure. It, it was Gus, but all I remember is that they have a page on their Wikipedia. That what happened to the dedicated fish? Dedicated to the, it. Well, it died live on air. That's yeah, but they must. I don't, I don't know I more Do you not know story. the story? I don't know the backstory, but I know as that far it was Gus. As, as far as I know, they were live on air and the fish was sort of conventionally poised for a fish and then it flipped over. What? Do you know the name of was the it, fish? Was it, was it, it like was a decorative fish or was it used in the broadcast in some way? Do we know? Was it, oh, no, I'm obviously a real one if it died. Yeah. <laughs> but like, what is a decorative fish? As in, like, was it just there as part of the set, like swimming along, like, hey, I think it was. Or, or was it one of the presenters? What are you asking me? 
I'm asking, was the fish part of the show no, in, in Gus, like an active sense? No, Gus, the, the fish, was just fish. in the background. Yeah. Was it called Gus, okay. the fish? Part of the show. What do you think? They're going to they're gonna do the fish shaking It could have been like that thing we where they predict things with like an animal. We did not do a fish shaking like, then competition. They have like no, but we did film a fishery the other day. What? I wish that was true. I'm hearing jokes that they boiled it alive, but I don't think it's true. They didn't, just in case anyone, uh, Natalie sorry. Bennett from the Green Party about might be watching, <laughs> she might be concerned. Natalie will be Me is also sad. a vegetarian. Oh yeah, she Yeah, vegetarian. God. Ooh, I'm pretty sure you chair, vegetarian. you chair Nasta next year, don't you, Alistair? Is <laughs> South Capone. Regional Coordinate. <laughs> Could it be you? Could it be you, that one Why guy? Why is, okay. okay. But Matt, Matt Cap is no. That, none of these are the answer. None of these I mean, I guess that one guy answer. is the answer. It's not that That is the answer, really. Maybe we should tell people what the answer actually is. Because none of these are true. So I guess you've got to yeah. say, yeah, it has to be that one guy. That's all it you can say. It has to be that one yeah. guy. So if anyone has not yet picked, pick that one guy as none of... Oh, for fuck's sake. What? It, it's, couldn't it, couldn't, be you. it couldn't be you because there's it, been yeah, a chair it, it elected. It definitely couldn't be you. The yeah. same as Rob Blower's. Hi. But the year afterwards. But the three, the three people that picked that, maybe... No, I, I imagine that they assumed what whoever wrote this question, question obviously meant, which is that... Obviously, it's been decided this year, so it's the next, next year where year decisions could be made. Oh, oh really? yeah. Could it be you? A actually, it was just someone trying to be funny. But Ooh, we could as well say that. Could it be you? Would you do it again if you could? It literally couldn't be me. Apparently, it was actually our head of factual oh, yeah, of course, that wrote that. Because you have to have 13 months after you were <laughs> uh, in uni factual. to apply. Shh, don't bring that up. But also, because I've held two positions on the exec, and you can only hold two positions. Oh, I didn't know and that. And you're I out. Didn't know that. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, so, we now have. Um, our scores on the doors, why are they called scores specifically scores on, the, on doors? the doors? But our scores on the doors are, after question nine, let's go, what is the name of the NASTA alumni group? <laughs> so we've got PASTA, NASTA, alum, NASTA alumni, N NASTA alumni, PASTA, and BASTA. There is a spelling difference here. Everyone got of that course. immediately. It is that, it's PASTA. Well done. No, of course. PASTA. So everyone answered immediately, but two people thought it was NASTA alumni. No, one to person thought it was NASTA alumni. <laughs> Yeah, I can wow. see why they're getting... That's but impressive. NASTA alumni? NASTA alumni. At least no one went for BASTA. You, you did get Turkey's additional Basta. points there for the correct capitalisation. By um, additional points, I'm assuming you mean some points. Well, <laughs> yeah, you got some points yeah. instead of, like, lower no points. points. Um, what, so could, what could the B in BASTA have stood for? I really hope it's not what BASTA. What is BASTA? <laughs> so we're now going to find out Basta. who won. It's very tense here. It's very tense. And it is <laughs> LA1 TV. So who was entering guys? from XTV? Who, yeah, who was entering or, from XTV? You got, got 5,601 cahoots, cahoots, which is an arbitrary scoring system which could literally mean anything. It could mean so anything. It's nice because everyone gets a nice high number. Um, ev obviously, every thousand constitutes one People's Choice Awards, and every <laughs> every hundred constitutes one actual NASTA award. So you, LA1, you've just walked away with 5,600 no, for 56 <laughs> Nasters. And well of course, done. you know, you can trade those for high fives next time uh, we're at a conference. So someone owes Not me like 5,601 <laughs> high fives. Are you sure that they don't That's trade so 175 weird. quadrillion dollars for five US dollars? You make no sense. Sorry, I'm just, That's the news. What's news. the news? Um, Why's uh, one of the African countries run by... Uh, Mr. Mugabe, but anyway, their currency, their currency, the Z Zimbabwean dollar, or however we pronounce it. Okay, so the, you were it making has an exchange rate. You're making it, making an exchange, exchange rate joke, and I didn't get it. Well, that's not good. Yeah. Maybe something got a bit, you know, lost in translation. Was something I being went, a bit technical? For yeah, you? something went technically wrong there uh, with the words you were using. These are the so worst think, links in history. I think aren't they? we know they're bad links, Alex. But let's roll with them because next. It's the award for technical innovation. Could could your could like the same things that won content win that as well? No, they can't because it's it's about innovating technically instead of content wise. So let's go over to technical innovation. Hello and welcome back to the awards announcements. And now we're about to move on to the award for technical innovation. Here are the nominations, is what I would say. But unfortunately, technical innovation is a written only submitted entry, so we shall simply tell you the nominations. Do you want to start? Yes, we have LA1 TV, YS TV, and KTV. And of those three, only two may survive, and we go on to the highly commended. Do you want to start with highly commended, yes. Amy? So the highly commended is 
KTV. And the winner of Tent Innovation, I believe this is the first year to run as a board, okay. I believe, so it's prestigious, is LA1 TV. Congratulations to both of you. Commiserations to YSTV who was left out, but I, I'm assured your entry was very good. Back to the studio. LA1, as if it couldn't get any better. There's a pun there, like LA1. Yeah, it's LA1. Do you see what you... Okay, I'm so glad we both noticed <laughs> that. I'm so glad that we both noticed that. We're both LA, really funny people LA and Alex is did thrilled win. to be here. Yes, they yes. Win. Uh, uh, LA won that and they won the bid to host NASA with PSTV. Of course, th their tech was on form for... Th yeah. Their tech was on form. Their, br their broadcast was, was awesome. It was cool to be able to see, like, myself as I walked up on stage. I, on occasion, shit, I sound like an asshole. Yes, but anyway, um, myself as I walked up once... Um, Twice. Three yeah. times. Shut up, Alistair. No, so, uh, I'm flustered now. Um, <laughs> and I can see myself from a different angle. Basically, you guys did a really cool thing. And yeah, like all of you are amazing. Christopher, you're amazing. But it well done on winning that awful quiz and then winning also technical innovation, People's Choice, which was a very, very, uh, very hard fought contest. So let us move on to that part of the show where we all talk about what we're going to do tonight. So yeah, the, the, I hear there might be a very top secret after party for this. There isn't. There is. Do you know what it is? We'll come back to the top secret after party. Do you hear? Did you have a crab in your drink? Well, I sorry. I'm drink. distracted because sorry. There's, there's some ominous music. I, some omin there's some ominous music, which could mean, could mean anything. Um, we don't know. I'm kind of almost more intrigued as to what you just found in your water, but... It was one of your fabulous hairs. One of my hairs? That's, uh, I think. Uh, I assume it was. That. Yeah, that's kind of fun. What is this music? What's happening? Something, well, something's coming on, isn't it? Something it's involving the surprise. dinosaurs. It's the thing you wanted, the wasn't it? Yeah. The surprise that I didn't know until, like, 20 minutes before okay. transmission. Okay, when I'm they hearing told me. something. What is... There's a surprise, but I don't know what it is. Stop being a cake. It, uh, we're being told it's a cake. There is a surprise cake somewhere. There's a we cake on the table. We need to get the surprise cake. cake. Should we go, <laughs> Shall I go through, cake through the IEMs? Right, we have been told that there is a cake the on the table. Cake. The director is telling me there is a cake. I don't trust this I'm director. <laughs> oh, my, what is this? This is so cool. Oh, oh what a God, surprise. So it was really right next to us. Yeah. We have Guys, no there's no napkins and no knives, oh. but there is oh. a cake that says NASA. How cool Does is that? Right, OK. That's freaking cool. OK, we need to, yeah. That looks Show nasty. the people at home what is on that. Can I eat it? What is that cake? <laughs> oh, I've got to do it. Can we, can we change back. the challenge to be Mia in two minutes has to eat the entire thing? <laughs> I, what it, what is the, I don't think anyone wants to see that. What is the challenge? <laughs> we have. Because I would do it. He's saying we have two minutes of the Jurassic Park theme tune. Right. And we have. That's what these are for. We these have, envelopes. Do we, we have, have any knives? No, we don't. We have envelopes for every affiliated station with NASA. We've and all we got to touch this. And until the Jurassic Park it. music is done, to fill the envelopes with wow. cake. We have, to, we have the, the music to fill the envelopes with cake to send to all the affiliated stations. Alex, don't eat any because we've got a lot of envelopes to fill. So right, look, you, look, we have you've got some 44 to envelopes to fill. <laughs> right, do you want to take some? Yeah, Mia, please, I'd some? love to. Um, have you got enough envelopes? Right, okay. I'm going to go out this cake. When the Jurassic Park music starts, we go and we, and we fill it with cake. We don't have knives, so this is going to be very messy. Get okay, messy. Smoke TV, we don't let's fill this up. These envelopes are, are sealed you shut. You're going to get some Air cake. Air TV, you're going to get some cake. Are we going? Right. Wait, okay, here we go. Two, one, let's go. Uh, get some cake in there, get some cake in there, Mia. I'm going, okay, I'm going we've got it. it. Let's this cake is in the envelope. surreal. Why I want to eat it. I it's in my hands and oh, I it's. It's, st it's oh, it's stuck you, Bucks, everywhere. Bucks right, go. TV. Go. Yeah. We need a, cool. we need to, a place to put all the envelopes with the cake oh, in. Oh, so we can be like, yeah. We're oh, sick, damn it, bro. Alex, TV are you even helping? You're just, yeah, you're just yeah. eating the cake. You're just eating the cake. Just fill it. Grab some Come envelopes on. and fill. You're not pulling your weight here. Campus There's TV. A whole this one's for you. Oh, look how much quicker than you I am. Right. This one is for nuts. So I guess we're putting it in the time machine and sending it like three years back. Um, or to NSTV. Or NSTV. Let's just send it to NSTV. <laughs> Oh, BTV, there you go, there's some cake, let's get in. We actually might do this, we actually might do this. We, might do we this. could do this, we could achieve this, Alex, come on. How long come on. I don't know, there you go, Lust, there's an envelope full of cake for you. The thing is, if we do this, then the producers of this oh, show literally sure. have to mail all of these out to the station. Yeah, if we do this, on, they will George. actually mail it. Um, come on. LSU TV. Stop oh. trying to present, Alistair, Phil. But I'm Phil, Demon uh, TV. there's cake everywhere. Hey guys, Demon TV did, um... 
God, I've got a big cake. Yes, they did. They did, they did it well. I loved it. I'm gonna um, we're halfway through our time. LSTV, we're going to do this come easily. On, we're halfway through. Come Fresh on. TV. Come on. Please don't finish the cake, though, Mia. Mm, that's oh, quite so nice I, cake. I'll LA1. Wait. I know, I've got four pieces. LA1, congrats on your tech hands. innovation. Here's some cake in an envelope. Fuse TV, station of our new this development. This is disgusting. Office, this is kind of disgusting. What have we got here? K We're not wow. even going to be able to wash our hands. KTV, I, I, here you go, guys. Wait. Oh, I've finished oh, all of my envelopes. Alistair, I've finished everywhere. all my... Give me right. more! Grab some envelopes from there. Go, go, go. More. Put that cake in that Stop pocket. Stop presenting your incompetence. <laughs> no, I'm not. Guild TV for you oh, know, being named after a guild. Please don't use all the cake, Mia. I'm still hungry. I'm... Guys, you know whatever cake is left to get, right? Guys, have we done it? Have we... <laughs> have we done the last one! We did it! Yeah! You have to present... <laughs> okay, we did cool. it, guys. I don't... Which means that I can now guarantee cake that all of you will receive through the post <laughs> I'm your envelope cake. with cake no, in I'm it. As, cake. Help me. As the rules are obviously, if we did it, you all got it delivered. So, in the spirit of democracy, we're going to get Alistair to go around to all of your houses on a moped, <laughs> and, he will, uh, and he will personally hand you... Hand you and you I, the cake. With chocolatey fingers. I can offer uh, you this, this is really good cake. This is actually quite good cake. I look I forward I to wish we, I wish we had a VT it. to go to so we could just <laughs> eat this. Or clean our fingers at least. But no, it's fine. No, we can definitely. It's all good. Wow, good TV right here. <laughs> so, you know the music was Jurassic Park. <laughs> why, why it was Jurassic Park was because, well, because... It was the Jurassic Park music because we have a really exciting project here at XTV. It's basically Jurassic Park on campus. And do you remember? How? Do you remember what was it? it was How is it? Oh, actually, awesome. It but just to clarify, he's plugging this because he's producing I'm plugging it. it no. I'm producing it. <laughs> the main reason I'm plugging it on a NASA level is because do you remember um, at Loughborough, one of uh, the joke proposals was that NASA should have mm. a plan in case of a Velociraptor attack. This is the kind of show that is going to make NASA wish that it had approved that plan. Shit but it disproved that plan. I'm, I'm gutted. I'm gutted. How did what XTV vote? Did XTV vote for it? I voted I for it. I don't know. Does anyone want a cake fight? I, 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 voted for, I voted for every ridiculous motion. Uh, I, ha I actually have my own plan created. Yeah, what is your uh, Velociraptor escape plan? It was oh. less of a Velociraptor esca escaping plan and more of a join the Velociraptors <laughs> plan. Um, joining the Velociraptors. Oh, is that why you did your little, like, uh, Yeah, uh, so I've been practicing. Do so it again. If we sort of live yeah. and learn from them, yeah. if we grow together from eggs, and F and and then okay. we, we gather together a whole load of students yeah. in one giant suit. Oh well, right, in a big dinosaur suit. Yeah, o over time through crossbreeding and yeah. intensive education programs. Of course. Yeah. Soon, us and the Velociraptors will live mm. together in harmony. Well, I for one welcome our new Velociraptor overlords, and I hope that in my position uh, in student media, I'll be really useful to help rounding up others. To conform to their new ways. Okay, nice Simpsons. Reference. That was a good, uh, yes. Yeah, lovely. Short Simpsons um, reference. That was a good chocolate cake plan. What's your escape plan, Mia? What, covered in chocolate finger hands, if a Velociraptor walked in through that She's wall, not covered in hands. <laughs> <laughs> She's covered in chocolate finger. Mia, you must have at least but 12 hands. Just so out. many hands, like a horse. Anyway, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> like a whore? Yeah, horses are measured in hands, aren't they? I <laughs> a horse is measured in hands? Yeah, I think so. No, um, I don't know. But just, just, just to try and just... There's so much cake. Are you choking? Are you okay? I um, think I might genuinely be choking. Um, I'm good. <laughs> Wait, we may have our first on air death. This could be <laughs> a snuffle. Of, of a human, a you mean. Worse than a goldfish. <laughs> um, yeah, um, so Mia, mm -hmm. people's choice. We've obviously still got the big one, people's station. People's station, yeah. Any thoughts mm -hmm. on who that might go to? I don't know. We, we do have no. more as well, but. I don't, think, I don't know if that's really fair of me to say. Um, you don't know the answer. So. I don't know the answer, no. But I mean, I d um, yeah. let the people decide, you know? Will it be XTV? Let the people decide. I don't know, will it? Unlikely. Do you we guys know the answer? We, we didn't enter, so oh. probably won't be us. No? No. Nah. But I thought I'd uh, <laughs> put that out there. Put that um, There's so much cake down here. Mm, it's mm. really distracting. Um, it, yeah. Should we finish this cake? Are we going to finish this cake, guys? Or are we just going to leave it and give it an extra big probably slice to whoever gets to the station? <laughs> you put a big chocolate bit in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a pirate. <laughs> This, must, this has become the worst telly I'm so ever. sorry. This is just, yeah. Okay. Have you ever been homesick? Because you're about to be physically sick. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever been homesick? I get quite travel sick. You get quite... The question was, 
have I you ever know. been homesick? You replied, I get quite travel sick. Well, you, you, you compared it to another kind of sickness. What other kind of sickness do you get? Do oh, you, God. Physical sick, tra travel sick, homesick, love sick. I don't really get sick. Do you guys know the history of People's Choice Awards? No, what is... What's the regale people's us with tales I don't actually people's know, choice but... Do you? Yeah. Well, regale, can, tell, tell me. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I'm testing you now. <laughs> I pretended. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I think People's <laughs> Choice... Yeah, Graham. People's Choice was the four, was the final award in NASTA until I think NASTA. F it, it, no, it was like it was the la one of the awards. It was added in in 2012. Added in 2012, mm -hmm. the year before XTV, and then it was removed again by XTV in yep. NASTA 40, um, and then that was. Yeah, that's it. That's the history of yeah. it. Yeah, so and then. So Oh, oh all the envelopes done. of cake. You've pushed out. We're still dishes. sending them out, so some but people get my yeah, footprint. You get foot and all sorts. Um, oh, no. Yeah, and then it became a fun... We are sending them out. Instead. That's the history of people's choice. Yeah, it was like I was right, kind of right. Yeah. So you were, were kind of right. You were on form. But I feel, you know, this, this, you know, this cake is kind of a bit of a bodge. What are you it? doing? What? I'm picking up the cake. Do you want... Alex... Okay, do you want me to feed Alex cake? No. Come no, on, let me feed no. you cake. Come on. Let me, let me feed you cake. Ah, ah, go. go oh. Why no. do you not want me to feed you cake? Oh, my earpiece has fallen out now. Um, where are you going? I don't like your personality. Is, is he just leaving? I don't like your personality. You don't like my personality? No. Should I be Alex? Do you, yeah, do you, want you to be me. me. You, no. in, you introdu introduce the personality award. Go on. So mm. Alex is gone. Alex is gone. So I guess we're introducing personality. I guess we are. So this is the award for you're uh, in the wrong chair, yes, on come screen. On. Come, on, yes, come sit Good in God, chair. you're so demanding. I'm not going to feed you cake. I would like feed Alex cake. There's a pile of chocolate here, actually. There's quite a lot of cake. Uh, impersonate everywhere. me, Mia. The, uh, um, it's really easy to impersonate Alex Glynn. It's, hello, yeah, I want some nest. I hate things. Yeah. 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 Is that, how's that? I'm too, I'm too enthusiastic to be. Um, oh. Well... Yes, the personality award I think is for uh, on-screen personalities. So in the same way that with the um, annual awards, we've got best on-screen male and best on-screen female. We have the um, personality, personality, best personality award for is this. Alex, whilst Alex washes his fingers in a cup of water, As which is do. not a bad idea, and I think we'll probably end up doing the same. Mm. Um, shall we go to personality award? Let's do that. Let's do it. I would love to see who's won. This is People's Choice Personality. No. Yes, we haven't got time. No. So how to move it about to And the winner of the People's Choice Golden Bodge Award is... Well, why actually was, was we were second. Oh, of course. By one point. Mm -hmm. Ours, was, ours was the robot. Yeah. Personality. The, the Skippy Bodge. In that case, I'll announce this one, and then you can do the next bodge. Okay. What you'll announce for High Commander get the winner? I'll take High Commander for bodge, just like I took Winner for the Theme. Okay. Unless you want to, in fact, let's just do it. Okay. I had High Commander, and you can get High Commander for bodge. Okay, so I'll, I'll introduce it still to be a normal. I'll put bodge back here. Oh. Wait, are we going? Right, so now we're announcing the personality of the year for NASA Open Awards, and I think we're going to look at the nominees. Yes, the nominees are... Campus TV. K TV. Trent TV. X TV YS TV Thank you guys for that. Apparently our director is an idiot and has told us himself to say that. His name is Chris Philsell. <laughs> Find him and tell him yourselves. <laughs> so, back on to personality of the year. Um, I'm going to start with Highly Commended. Yes, so, do. the Highly Commended is Campus TV. Well done to you and your personality of the year. Yes, and the winner for personality of the year is YS TV. So, congratulations to both of you, and we can't reiterate this enough. The director is an idiot, <laughs> and hopefully he's got his act together now. Back to the studio soon, but we would like to say one more final thing of just, 
We've got Golden Forage coming up. Yes. And we look forward to having it. Indeed. Something special lined up for that. Yes, because we have had some hilarious entries, so we're trying to be hilarious ourselves. Don't Hopefully. try. We don't try. We'll succeed. Hopefully. So, we'll head it back over to the studio in three, two, one, go. Hello. <laughs> Just washing right. the arms. Thanks, uh, thanks, James and Amy, for that. That's uh, uh, really good to see the personality uh, shine through, because at NASA, we're a talented bunch. You know, as we said earlier in the quiz, students make the best telly, don't they, Alex? Yeah, especially up, up, up north, it seems. Especially up north? Yeah. LA1, YS. You mean, you mean the They're stations beyond the wall, right? <laughs> on the wall. the wall? Yeah, the stations beyond the wall. Are you talking about like you make a Game of Thrones wall. reference? How is the station beyond the wall a Friends reference? Okay, well, anyway. Game of Thrones. Anyway, anyway, friends. anyway, anyway. I can't anyway, hear anyway. anything in these. It's bad. We'll, t we'll take it out then. Uh, no, no. Um, <laughs> so the next thing is obviously, speaking of northern stations, we're going to flip that on its head, as we uh, have tried to do throughout this entire broadcast, subverting your expectations. You tune into XTV expecting something coherent, <laughs> expecting something funny. We won't give you any of that. What we will give you is a quiz. Another, another quiz. quiz. Another quiz. Yeah, and this one's for Alistair, because obviously there's, So there's Alistair, a quiz for me now? Yes, Alistair. Okay. You, you can take that out. <laughs> okay, I'll pop this out, so I'm yeah. not, you know I'm not hearing anything now. You can't hear right. the answers. Right, I okay, hate, so hate the quiz, we'll have to, <laughs> we can Fine. alternate with questions if you want. Shall I come and uh, join you? Come and join me. Oh, I'll switch, I'll switch. Oh, so I've got, oh great, I've got that's a much better masters. idea, yeah, isn't it? I've got question masters now. Just trying to avoid the... Um, the cake, there's so much cake on the floor. Cake. It's so. It's a disaster. Cool, okay, so we'll start with first question, which <coughs> is, what is the highest submittable resolution for an HD video? to the NASTA Awards. Now, I investigated this. There is no NASTA 4K preset, much to my annoyance. So um, there's, no <laughs> there's nothing, um, there's, uh, there's no 4K preset, but it is uh, 1080p is the highest preset um, that you can get. So um, what is it? It's 920 by 1080. 1920 yeah. by 1080? Yes, yes. Correct? Next? Yes, get in. <laughs> you should know this one. Right. <clears throat> yeah, you should know this one. Okay. You should know this one too. I, I do know this one. Yeah. Um, on what day do the executive officers start and end their roles? So, you hinted earlier, didn't you? You revealed it. <laughs> yeah, you say hinted. You kind of leaked it. Um, but yeah. it would probably be the 1st of July because no one's in power this month. Well, you are still in power. You've got, one <laughs> You've got two weeks left. She's Two right here representing NASTA. We've shipped her down from the highest NASTA tower. Where, where did you come from? <laughs> um, I came from London. NASTA Tower. Which is the NASTA headquarters. Nasta. Yeah. Literally every Nasta former exec, yeah. sort of, they're all stacked up, and the current exec are like right on the top, at the top of the tower. Hmm. So it, it, on the 1st of July, yeah, which was a correct up. answer, so yeah, well done. 1st of July. Mia's going to lie down, and then <laughs> the new exec will get on top of they her. Just <laughs> they just build a physical stack of people um, to indicate hierarchy and yeah. time. Basically. Next question, next question, Which category was temporarily and somewhat controversially removed and then re-added this year? Is this, one the, is this the one that's kind of controversial because it sounds really similar to another category and some people were getting confused as to why we need both? Uh, that's, that's kind of what, what I think happened. So I'm going to guess that it's probably video to music. That's the correct answer. Yes, get in. Um, they oh are yeah. very different Is that categories. the one that, that on the, the various trophies and things was called, um, instead of uh, video to music, was called music to video? Like there was a, just a random switch around on some of the, the, um, on one, the legislations. Oh yeah. Yes, it was. Next question, Mimi. Awkward. Um, what is the correct capitalization of NASTA? Well, we saw this, we saw this in the quiz earlier when PASTA came up twice, so it's capital N, lower A, uppercase S, uppercase T, uppercase A would be good. the correct. Very good. Okay, master. so moving swiftly on, uh, obviously you're South Regional Officer, Yeah. but under what geographical conditions can you apply to be so it's a Regional Officer? You, would ha you, you need to be able to get to the region, so presumably you have to live in the region. Yeah. You don't have to have been to a university that's included in that region because there were people I know that went for London um, that didn't go to London. So I guess it must be that you live there. Is, is, is that it? That's part like of it. There's a bit more. There's, there's more. more. Okay, so it's like, um, 
do you, do, you, do you really have to have like five generations of family members, do, a whole yep. family crest, you know, no, that's be a true. big sort of valiant name in student media. I mean, we had the Game of Thrones reference earlier, so let's go with that, you know. Let's go just families from? having feuds that's right. and things. Well done. Next. I'll that. Mm. Um, <clears throat> under what geograph? Oh, that's you've. We've done geographical. We've done that one, Mia. <coughs> if we'd given you your own piece of paper, though, perhaps you would have been... Yeah, maybe I would have been more on it. It's fine. Um, challenges. Fun. What's the maximum number of awards there can be at any one time? So there was 23 this time, I believe. So a roundish number. So 24, 25. Yeah. Probably not 25 because hashtag things longer than NASTA. So yeah. to keep <laughs> it down, keep it down. Let's keep it at 24. Keep it smooth, 24. Yeah, no, no, that was right, yeah. <laughs> oh, Fee, Fee, you had me worried for a second Next there. question, how are you feeling today? How am I feeling today? That's not about the Constitution. Very important That's that you answer this correctly. <laughs> we are looking for a very specific answer here. So, I'm feeling pretty good. I got a first, Alex got a first. In the words of Nick Rommel, we both have firsts. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm guessing that it's good because I love NASTA and we're here. No. No? The answer was excellent, because you love quizzes and you love NASA. That but you did very well. How can it you was quiz a someone on something that's subjective, you know? Half a point, Half a point, half a point. Let's point. move on. Hmm. How long before awards night do submissions close? So probably like, it was about half a term. So probably about five, six weeks, six weeks before awards night. So five, six, six? So I'm going to go with six. I'm going to go with six. Correct. But yeah. under, what sub, uh, under what criteria might a late submission be accepted? So a late submission, I guess if, if something really bad happened that was out of your control, like, I don't know, you got struck by lightning on the way to the edit suite, which would be pretty unfortunate, yeah. but, you Velociraptor know. Velociraptor attack. Yeah, Velociraptor what? attack. Yeah, something anything. outside your control. Dinosaurs. And you'd, um, you'd contacted the host station beforehand. Um, you'd probably have a good go um, at, you know, late submission. What, what if you'd sort of, you were doing your edit and then you thought actually it would be better if we changed the font and so you didn't have time because your well, font... No, no, that no. just wouldn't work. Like, if it's a creative decision that, and you've messed it up, no, good. no, yeah, good. you're good. One more question. Is it me? Yeah, here we go. Hmm. What process needs to occur before a station can gain NASA membership? I've never had to set up a new station. I, I have no idea. How do you do it? You should how, know this, Alistair. Like, but how do you set up a new station? Like, my, like Detail the process. D detail, like, do you not know? I don't know. I don't know how you Fine. set up a new station. Fine. I've never done it. Well, tell him. Alistair, I'll what tell you now. T t okay, how do we do it? How do we do it, Mia? The joining station must bathe in the blood of a sacrificial cow whilst sacrificial chanting, cow. Nasta, Nasta, Nasta. Nasta. Exactly. Yeah? Standing yeah. under a butter sculpture of Matt Capone. Dressed as the Egyptian sun god Ra. Yeah, I remember that. Shall we? Shall we it's take a, time, a minute? Right? Is that is that how you s affiliated XTV with NASA, Alex? Did you have to worship Matt Capone dressed as the Egyptian sun god? You Ra? do know. I was the only station manager for one year. I wasn't the first yeah, station no, manager. Yeah, no, I know that. But you know, you might. It might be like a yearly thing. Do you have to <laughs> renew the covenant? The yearly, yeah. the yearly thing. Go is, th is there any way to renew the covenant with no, NASA? No. The co yes, and it's sixty something pounds. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, official yeah. way to renew the covenant. And is it has actually a very simple process. You just you, you just pay send pay some money to pounds and say you want to affiliate. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> the guild didn't pay. So uh, how how did I do? How did I do? Well, you, you got all of them right, other than the last one, and um, how you, how you were feeling today, which is eight and a half. strange, as obviously that would eight be and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. I think that's yeah. pretty solid. You know, you bodged it. You, you bodged, I bodged it. it. I bodged together some good answers there. I'm proud. I'm proud. But do you know who else bought together some good stuff? Who? That, you know, you know, Alex, you've got to support my links here. Because, um, you know, we've got, some, we've got some tight links going we on. Did not, we, did not, we did not pick to present together. We, we Alex, were forced Alex, together. Stop dissing my golden links. Uh. They're, golden, <laughs> they're golden links which are bodged together. So this is obviously the golden bodge. The one and only golden bodge from NASA. Um, so we're now going to switch. Um, and have a quick look at this year's Golden Bodge, uh, which I'm really excited about. So this is this year's Golden Bodges. Hello. 
and welcome back. We're here to announce the, uh, the Golden Bodge Awards, and we're trying to be hilarious in order to commemorate these nominees. Here are the nominations. Scratch TV. Stack TV. Uni TV. X TV. YS TV. That's what you get for having spare helium lying around in the office. <laughs> I mean, as I said, we were trying to be funny. Oh, don't bother there. with it, trying. Right, <laughs> so we have the highly commended, and obviously there are a lot of entries for this one, and most of them were pretty good. So it was tough to judge, and people did well. The highly commended barge goes to XTV. Well, congratulations for XTV. Those mugs. <laughs> um, and now the winner for the Golden Bodge oh, Award. More suspense, come on, oh, Golden oh, Bodge. Oh, and, oh, drum roll, oh, drum roll. Oh, right. Let me get it out of the envelope. It is, the winner is YSTV. Congratulations, we love what you did with the Twitter feed for that. <laughs> and I actually, I, I think it was off the musical, I'm not sure. Yes. But no, we're going to go back to the studio <laughs> now with Alex Nasta. See you in a bit. Hello. So we so got we got highly commended there. We got highly commended. High five. Well, you missed. Come on, do the right thing. There we go. Sorry, That's I'm it. mercilessly drunk. You're really. Are you, how drunk are you? No, no. Actually. Have you you've been. No, that wasn't even funny. That wasn't even funny. Let's just move on. Um, so n next we're going to show our golden bodge because yeah. we got highly commended, and I, presumably the fact that we got our highly commended means that of course that's the award we're going to show. Um, is this the one with Adam Smith in the vending machine? I believe it is. I think you might be in for quite a You guys picked this, seat. so enjoy. In yeah, you picked this. Hello, and welcome to the final. Hey, where can I find a bachelorette? The show where two contestants fight it out to date a robot. So, Family Sue, why do you want to date the robot? I just find wiring really, really sexy. That's cool, so do I. Ah, Billy Bob, what about you? I want to see those parts so I can take. Alternative, but I'm cool with that too. So, while we go on the subject, let's meet our bachelorette. Here is said bachelorette. Hello. How are you feeling about this whole prostitution thing? I do not have feelings. That is our one problem with this bachelorette. He's incapable of love. Actually. I have a pre-planned idea. Let's bring on a programmer to make sure that for the first time ever, this bachelorette can feel love. Yeah, I'm your typical programmer. We're programming this robot. Yeah, I think I'm using like C++ or some shit that I learned about in tech forum, and now he's capable of love at the end. I understand love. We have programmed him to hit on people. Hopefully, this will be entertaining. What are you doing? Hitting no. on people! Oh shit, he's hitting on people! Oh, God. He's out of control! No. He's out of control! Cut. Bye bye robot, but I think I love you. Honey, I think I love you too. Well, that was rubbish. Um, but that's the beauty of the bodge, isn't it? The beauty of the bodge is that it's always a bit thrown together. I mean, talking of thrown together, we had a bit of an error there where we incorrectly threw together the video and the sound and it all went out a bit out of sync. Um, 
and it all went a bit out of sync. Um, but that's okay, because again, that's the thing with the bod. You never quite know if the tech's going to work. You never quite know. Like, we filmed that on <laughs> an iPhone. Filmed, Do you remember so filming? did everyone else. Yeah, but, you know, that's the beauty of the bod, man. I don't think you are appreciating the beauty of the bod. Okay, so as obviously nobody could actually hear that, Give a little bit of explanation. It, what was, it was the, what was the, the theme, theme was the genre? The sci-fi and drama. So we d tried to tried to tie in a bit of you know drama, a bit of reality TV as well, um, with sci-fi. That hence the robot element. And yeah, it was interesting. And although you missed it, there's a bonus scene on the end of the YouTube version, which you should definitely go check out. Which has one of our esteemed members making love to a vending machine. Yeah, that was actually quite a good, funny one to film. Um, but I wasn't there. You weren't there. Why? What? Why weren't you at the bodge? The bodge is always the best bit. I'm really excited actually because we have we have an XTV alumni event tomorrow and we're doing cross generation XTV bodge. I'm really excited about that. But what you should be even more excited for is the winning golden bodge, shouldn't we, Alex? Yeah. Who the, the sound will probably be out of sync again, the so they probably won't enjoy it. Here's so. YSTV's golden bodge. Try and enjoy it. Let's do it. Go on then, do the thing. Do it while you're watching. One bodge more, another year, another parody. This never ending road to student TV. These folks from NASA all have fun, but this year is my final one. One bodge more. I didn't drink until today. I didn't know how much I could down. I know that this anger owes me. Oh shit, I've spilt it on my gown. One more bodge till we go home. One more bodge for me to sing. What a life I might have known if I'd done a real degree. One more day of empty workshops at the sessions we will learn stuff at the end we'll be informed when you look at my CV. Do I drink more caramel go? Do I join my brothers there? Do I stay or do I care? It's time to go! The bodge is here! One bodge more! One more bodge till we can win it. I think that we really could. I am fed up with these schoolboys. I am not down in the hood. Watch them, they're all pissed. Tweet them as they fall. Never know you're drunk when wine is free for all. Cheer a little cheer, hear a little cry. Yeah, we didn't win, but it was worth a try. One more vodka revolution waves the trophies up on high Of the party I am king, we will win at everything There is champagne for the winners, there's a new prize to be won Do you hear the station sing? My place is here, I'll film with you Much more. Tomorrow will be far away. This evening is the judgment day. Tonight we will discover what the judge at NASA has in store. One more dawn, one more day, one bodge more. I feel emotional. I genuinely feel emotional. All the feels. You feel emotional now. Yeah. That was a beautiful musical number. And I like the use of Twitter that they had in each of it. Like the Twitter thing where you could scroll down and see all the different it videos. There was a very clever way of getting around uh, not actually being like... The Cutting. Yeah, yeah. The general rules of the bodge. I'm not sure that they actually did follow the general rules. Like there were, there, but there was did. no cutting in there. They did, because they, they just filmed a screen. But it was... Uh, yeah. That's true. Crafty. It, yeah. I could just be bitter because we only lost by one point. But. <laughs> oh, I think, I think you're a bit bitter. But I'm don't not actually bitter. I actually but, don't but care. Alex, 
don't don't worry about feeling a bit upset because you've actually received a compliment. You've actually got fan mail, man. I'm jealous. You have fan mail, right? Someone on Twitter, someone on Twitter thinks that you have secrets hidden in your hair. That's not fan mail. I'm pretty sure that's yeah. from Mean Girls. What? It does from Mean Girls. I haven't seen Mean Girls in years. Oh no, me neither. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, this so is totally undermining you got my secrets hair in your hair. Look, have you got secrets in your hair? No. Come on. No. Oh, damn it. I Just need. Give a little shake. I swear. Out. You have secrets in your Should hair. Try. No, I'm terrified. What of you. sort of things are in there? <laughs> what sort of things do you know? Mostly lice and dandruff. <laughs> uh, that's not really a secret. That's the kind of thing <laughs> that you'll accidentally share with someone and it will be disgusting. I'll tell you what else isn't a secret. What? Our next award category. Uh, our next award category isn't secret. Well, the award is, but the category isn't because it's the only one left. It's the only one left. And it's probably the least secret one because it's the one that everyone wants to get their hands on. Hence, everyone knows it. Yeah. Because it's people's station, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, what do you think makes the ideal student TV station? You've been a station manager. What makes an ideal, ideal student TV station? The station that gets the most votes in this, in this one. Uh, well, what, you, what kind of thing is going to make people vote for your station? You know, good bit, the best station. Good bit of collab, you know, a bit of collab with other stations, you know, a bit of NASTA mingling. Maybe, yeah, maybe. You know, filming some cool stuff, you know. Yeah. Getting some nice frames. Per I'm just a bit bitter never because we've changed the system never breaking to be the a, Eurovision, a Eurovision point system, which obviously, as everyone knows, means that no English station can ever win. That, that's Eurovision. We're using a Eurovi Eurovision-style system. That doesn't necessarily imply that an English station won't win. So what you're saying is the fact that we're using the exact system as Eurovision means we're suddenly going to have miraculously different outcomes to Eurovision. No, Alistair, this is not going to go to any British station. But, it, you know, you're going to get Yugoslav. Can't yeah, win. They yeah. can't win. Yeah, like Poland or whoever wins normally can't win because this is national student TV in England, so national... Oh, yeah, because Guster in England. Oh, yeah, of course, Scotland and Wales. Yeah, I forgot. Maybe you're right. W w have we stipulated specifically what the national in NASTA stands for? We're going to have a massive, massive war here between East Germany and West Germany TV. Wow. Wow. So, People's Station then. We've done something new this year where it's, it's a case of, you know, you, you, you have that Euro, Eurovision-style system where you, get, you vote five stations and you give them either five, four, three, two, or one points. Um, and many of you sent in videos as well, uh, which is really interesting. Uh, Should so we take a look? Go. Let's take a look. And let's see if any British TV stations actually do well in this. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Hello, Nasta. We hope you're enjoying the show. These are XTV's picks for the people's choice. One point to Trent TV. Two points to WTV. Three points to KTV. Four points to YSTV. And five points to Campus, Campus TV. TV. So congratulations to them. We're sorry. We're sorry, we're currently having a technical issue. I don't know what the technical issue is, as that seemed like it was actually working really well. But we've got, we've got to kill two minutes. So that's Otherwise, that, those people in the background are going to shoot us. That is a sample. Shit. That is a sample of mm. how this is going to work. So obviously, we've heard a video. <laughs> we've not heard work. a video oh, where yeah. um, one person uh, gets one point. Another station, WTV, in this case, got two points. KTV got three points. YSTV got four, and Campus TV got five. So hopefully, this is a really, um, really sort of intuitive voting system where we get to see your faces as well. Like we usually in the in these votes, we don't get to see anyone, but now you get to send in videos. And you get hilarious faces like this one of Chris Sunshine Phil Cell. I'm, I'm sorry, Alistair. I'm just happy to let you try frantically to scramble the pieces of this of this uh, People's Station broadcast back together. No, nah, no, nah, you've got to help me because we came up with a plan before we went on air. We said, "What is your party trick? If, uh, <laughs> if if this goes if this goes problematic, what is your party trick?" So, Alex, what is your party trick? I'm pretty sure I didn't have one. <laughs> I, I thought yours was doing your Velociraptor impression, which you did use to good effect. I've done that twice. We're yeah, not doing do it, it again. Do it again. Do you have one? Do you have what? a party trick? What, what's your party trick? Uh, uh, I don't know. I um, can juggle women. You can juggle women. <laughs> like physically, not like in my relationship. 
We we had a few uh, a few jokes going, didn't we? Before before we get got on, I can't remember. I can't remember what our jokes were now. This is bad. Yeah, it's pretty this bad. bad. So you enjoyed your little teaser of the award, and um, and while we're still still enjoying ourselves, let's return to our trusty saviour, Nicole. Do you want to ah. read this out? Wait, you've got to come near to my mic. Okay. There you go. Hello. Um, do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. Who's that question to? Do you believe um, in ghosts? I'm going to ask Alistair. Yeah, are you going to ask me? Turn in the tables. Turn in the tables. <laughs> um, do I believe in ghosts? No, I do not. I hate. Why would a conversation starter have a yes or no answer question? That's going to start a great conversation. Do you believe in ghosts? Designing. Yes. Great, great chat. Well done. Yeah, done. It's because you, you implemented this whole, let's do it in a quick fire way. We could have a whole discussion about this. Okay. Let's not. Nasta. <laughs> let's not. People's ghosts. People's ghosts. People's Who's your favourite ghost? Would it be Casper? I mean, Casper's got a lot going for him. He also lent his name to a well-used CG programme by a lot of the stations. Yeah, that's true. He did. He's not Nearly headless he's Nick? He's not my favourite ghost. He's my favourite ghost, ghost is... Uh, the uh, ghosts from Lord of the Rings, you know, when they all come out and they're like, we will fight. And then they go and fight. It's so which specific quite, ghost there? Quite a random storyline, you know, that, they, that battle's pretty much reliant on Who's them. your favourite? Um, your favourite ghost? So yeah, favourite ghost. Uh, Moaning Myrtle. Wow. Oh, Hilarious. classic choice. Hilarious ghost, but also very helpful in, um, you know, leading, leading to the... the Resolution of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So other than Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, <coughs> and Casper, <laughs> does anyone know any other ghosts? Oh, that ghost in, you know Hocus Pocus? Great no, film. No, I don't know that. Does no. anyone else know any ghosts? Do you want to hear a good ghost story? You Alex? don't need to be that close no? to it, Nicole. Okay. No. Am I close enough? I'm a ghost. I'm the ghost of the M&D room, which is why I've magically appeared. <laughs> That's quite good. That's quite good. I like That's that. That's kind of haunting. It is. Oh, do you want to hear I a good ghost story? I wondered why her skin was so cold. <laughs> Alex, do you want to hear a good ghost story? No, we're not going to ghost stories. Oh, okay. I have a great ghost story. What, what's been your favourite segment of the show, ignoring all of the ones that had technical issues? Oh, you're asking me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, um, we want to know the behind the scenes. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? Behind the scenes oh, news. I was a cam op, and then I'm not going to say why I'm here. Why are you here? We have no control over our crew. They just sort of, they're free range. They so just roam is, around this free. Is, this is one of the best things about XTV and presumably student TV in general is that you can try out so many different things. So we've been cam up before, haven't we, Alex? We've been presenters. We've been on Vision Mixer. We've been directing. Well, okay. He does this okay. all the time. Okay. He, he, he uses his charm and his general niceness. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I'm actually to do presenting yeah, I'm actually rather than just accepting that everything's catching fire and burning. Okay. And I really like you two as a duo, it's hilarious. It, it's it, like, come on, Alex. Come on, we Alex. can do this. It feels, it feels kind of like, like a <sighs> Disney film. Like, have you noticed that every Disney film is small, <laughs> energetic, lively character has to team up with really grumpy, physically big character. Like, you know, are you animal. calling me fat? <laughs> no, but like, you know, you're taller than me. It's what, it's what Disney like, character would you relate like everyone to? Ice Age, a little bit of Finding Nemo's like that. The You've difference is, Wreck -It Ralph. the difference is, You've Al, got Monsters Ali, 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 Ali. Like Ali. Normally, it's by the end of by the end of the film, the ca main characters who were once like enemies, they they become sort of reconciled and they grow to love each other. This has not happened tonight. But, yeah, but have we grown to love each other, Alex? No. Come on, it's been three years. It's been three years since we started doing this. <laughs> well, come on, have ha have you enjoyed presenting with me? At least say you've enjoyed presenting this with me. Come on, I've enjoyed presenting this with with, with my co-presenters, you and Mia. That's good enough for me. Me too. I feel like Mia's carried the show. <laughs> you feel, oh, damn it. I, th I thought we were all carrying it, you know? We were, as a joint effort. Now we've got Nicole, though. <laughs> we can't go got, wrong. Now we've got Nicole, we definitely can't go wrong. Um, so, um, for those of you who are still watching, uh, which I assume is actually probably still all the same stations, you literally, you literally have no choice if you want to find <laughs> out who's won this one. Um, it, it, it's a tension building exercise, really. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that tension building exercise. Um, I don't know what time it is. I've got to turn yeah. my phone off while I do that. So, at 7.43. I think we should have that as like an underscore for the tension music. It's not 24. We can go one step further and get the whole like. Can anyone get us the modem noise from upstairs? Like that. Genuine. Genuine. 
<laughs> genuine story here. So I went, Sorry. I went um, to the t teaching awards. They do this thing in Exeter where you have to go with your lecturer um, to the teaching awards to see if they've won, uh, you know, best lecture. Or in our case, we won most supportive in theology. Get in. Um, but I went to the pub with my lecturer and his wife, and she was really drunk, and she kept telling me how the modem sounded back when she did a degree. And she spent about a minute just <laughs> going. It was to be like fair, but to be fair, the, the, the worst bit, the worst bit was when, um, was when it, she was doing it for so long that I kind of had to join in. So we just made modem noises. See, you're mocking her for that. You're mocking her for I that. Think it's but I love that was noise. at the pub. You, we've just literally done that we've live on YouTube or wherever people yeah. are watching this. Um, Talking about live on YouTube, one idea that was just suggested to me was that we <laughs> write a NASA theme tune. So if I lay down some bass and some beats, you know, you could put a melody, a little bit of lyrics, like... <laughs> I'm going to play the guitar, apparently. So who's playing? There's some cats. So You're Nicole's supposed to be on, on the maracas. The, Nicole's on maracas. <laughs> so <laughs> Mia's on the triangle. I'm hearing that Mia yeah, is on the triangle, so... I am on the triangle. Okay, so we've got... Yeah. Okay. Hold on, what's Alex's role? Are you singing? Uh, uh, no, I'm meant to be playing the drums, but I refuse to take part in this. They're now suggesting our people. Can, can you do it with the mic? Can you get <laughs> If you wanted to do student TV, there's nothing to fear. <laughs> Because NASA will look after you year after year. Your turn to make up some lyrics Ding. now. <laughs> <laughs> so no, thank you, Al, because the VT's back on. The VT. So we can shut up and stop writing this song. Hey. Oh, that was smooth. That was smooth. You like to pretend you're not getting involved, but so I into it. <laughs> don't reveal my dirty <laughs> secret. Right, OK, so the rumor on the cans <laughs> is that the VT's back and ready. And I know that, like, technically, you're never meant to acknowledge that, but. This is just some smoke and mirrors Don't game to VTs. hide. Yeah, exactly. You can't say VTs. You can't go three, two, one, as I'm pretty sure we've also done. But yeah, we we're breaking the fourth wall you know? here deliberately to sort of reward you guys as viewers for your time, we're for your patience. We feel that we're going to. deliberately. We feel like we're going to interact directly with you. Technically. <laughs> and we were interacting directly with you because you've interacted directly with us by sending in your VTs. So. Let's enjoy what you guys have created. Hello from Campus TV in Bath, onto our votes for the People's Station. One point goes to WTV. Our uh, two points go to Guild TV. Three points go to KTV. Our uh, four points go to YSTV. And our top prize goes to LA1 TV. Well done, everyone. Shamai and welcome from Cardiff. We're Cardiff Union Television and here's our scores for the People's Station 2015. So we have one point going to YSTV, that's York Student Television. Uh, two points going to Trent TV, that's Nottingham Trent Station. Uh, three points going to uh, WTV, that's Warwick Student Television. Four points going to LA1 TV, that's Lancaster's TV station. And a massive five points going to Campus TV. That's it from us, Pool Bauer. Goodbye. And for the People Station, it's number one, we've got Guild TV, number two, Campus TV, number three, YS TV, number four, LA, LA1 TV, and number five, we've got Trent TV. Thank you. Get one if you're ready. Here are the results from Stag TV. One point to Campus TV. Two points to Susu TV. Three points to Smoke TV. 
four points to DUSA TV and five points to Are You On TV. Thank you very much. Okay, and you're rolling whenever you're ready. Hello. We apologise that Susu TV couldn't be with us tonight, but we do have their votes. One point to YA TV. Two points to LA1 TV. Three points to Guild TV. Four points to Campus TV. And five points to Trent TV. Thank you very much from Susu. Hello, Nasta. This is XXTV. Thank you, XTV, for organizing People Choice Award. My name is Sing Hong. I am the new station manager. My name is Mitch, the new assistant manager. The following are our nominations for the People's Station for the People's Choice Awards 2015. First point goes to LA1 TV. In fourth place, with two points, is Warwick TV. Three point is Guilt TV. Four points are going to YS TV. And of course, the last five points goes to Campus TV. Thank you. Why was that the take? <laughs> Hello, my name is Billy from Trent TV, and here are our nominations for the People Station. In fifth place is Work TV. In fourth place is YS TV. In third place is Guild TV. In second place is LA1 TV. And in first place, it is KTV. Thank you very much. Hello, Nasta. We hope you're enjoying the show. These are XTV's picks for the People's Choice. One point to Trent TV. Two points to WTV. Three points to KTV. Four points to YSTV. And five points to Campus, Campus TV. TV. So congratulations to them. YSTV here. Our People's Choice Awards for People's Station 2015 are in fifth place Campus TV, in fourth place KTV, our third choice is Guild TV, second we've got WTV and our People's Choice vote for 2015 goes to Trent TV. Welcome back to the award ceremony studio for the final one. Now, we're slightly redundant this time because I think anyone with a calculation of a set of eyes could have worked out the results by themselves. But since this is People's Station, I feel we should do it formally and announce them anyway. You've already heard the nominees. So, Amy, for the final time, would you yes. like to tell us the highly commended? I will indeed. So, the highly commended for People's Station is YSTV. Thank you very much. Congratulations to YSTV. And the winner. With some further ado, because we would like to say, quite finally, thank you so much for listening in and paying attention to our coverage throughout this time. All stations really are winners, yes. but we have got a real winner here, <laughs> and it is Campus TV. Congratulations to all of you, and this is our final Back to the Studio. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Three, two... The, camera, the camera's rolling, Alistair. You can go whenever you're ready. Okay, Campus... <laughs> So oh. Campus TV uh, did really well there, but it was nice to see... Um, Very like close between LA1 and... Yeah, LA. it was close. And there was a lot of other stations that got uh, suggestions from people. Now, uh, to, ki really to, nice. to continue this broadcast, which has been full of delights and surprise for you, we've got one final incredible surprise which will blow your minds. What is this surprise, Alex? The crews mm. come onto the stage. <laughs> the, the, I, believe that's the, I believe that is the Woo. plan. <laughs> Mia, so this, this any, is yeah, this there, is an SNL reference. Are there any final words that rubbish. you want to send to everyone in NASA as well? Um, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>
for everything. So long and thanks for all the fish. But yeah. I was going to go in for that, yeah, but then I was like, you didn't. no. 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 Cool. It's so been real. We have what, one minute, Alex. Is there anything you want to say to people out there? I've had a lovely time one, today. One John, are you coming on the stage? Yes. Oh. oh, we've got some alumni now. And George. And George. Oh, these guys so used to be, these people used to be members, but now they're not. So, um, if anyone else has anything. <laughs> <laughs> guys, have you all enjoyed yourselves? Have you all had a great time? Can yeah? you think? Can we be more Can anybody think oh, of yeah. any yeah. single improvement that we could have made to this broadcast? Like, it's been flawless. <laughs> <laughs> your hair could have been bigger. That was a single thing. Right. To be fair, if, if my hair had been bigger when Cara and I were on stage <laughs> together, so it would have caught fire and all <laughs> shit would have gone down. But well, congrats, oh. <laughs> congrats to all the stations uh, that won today and uh, did really well. Sorry um, about the credits coming up. We, we, we've got some more, some more egotistical oh, bastards more coming down. <laughs> oh, I love this. We've Yay. got, we've got the whole <laughs> XTV camera. You don't have to apologise, Jess. We're still live at the We're moment. We're still live, <laughs> Jess. That, that's, the camera, that's the camera that you made us work for for two sorry, minutes. Sorry, I had to sing beautiful. songs. I had beautiful. to sing songs. It was, so, it was a the real question thing. is, who wants this piece of cake? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll take that. Yes, okay. Andrew wants it. Wilcock oh, wants it. Here we go. Catch it in your mouth. Here we go. Oh, God, Here we go. No. Here we go. Are you ready, Wilcock? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, anyone else? Anyone else want cake? All right, Je Jess wants some cake. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, uh, I just threw cake. <laughs> and while Jess. Alistair will not stop <laughs> prattling about, I'm going to say thank you to every single person that bore with us through our technical issues. And I hope you've had a mm. brilliant NASA People's Choice. Thank you, everyone, for voting. Hope you enjoyed the show. And we'll see you soon. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so funny. <laughs> Everyone just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. We're not allowed to stop waving till the credits are done. <laughs> Please cut away from Please me. Please cut away from just me and Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, moving the shot. Yeah, there we go. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We survived this ordeal. Oh, wave to middle. Wave to middle. Beauty. Beauty.